He is known for being a French physician and philosopher during the Enlightenment. He is recognized for his belief that humans are complex animals and do not possess souls. His name is Julien Offray de la Métrie. In the 18th century, a revolutionary thinker emerged in France, challenging the prevailing beliefs about human nature and the mind. His name was Julien Offray de la Métrie, a physician and philosopher who would become known as one of the early materialists of the Enlightenment. La Métrie's ideas were groundbreaking, and his legacy continues to shape our understanding of the human experience. La Métrie boldly proclaimed that humans are not endowed with souls, placing them on equal footing with other animals. He believed that the mind is intricately connected to the body, rejecting the notion of a separate, immaterial soul. Instead, he argued that our thoughts, emotions, and consciousness are all products of the physical processes within our bodies. This radical perspective challenged the prevailing religious beliefs of the time and sparked intense controversy. Driven by his belief in the unity of body and mind, La Métrie advocated for a life lived in pursuit of pleasure. He rejected asceticism and emphasized the importance of enjoying life's pleasures as a means to true fulfillment. His ideas were a direct challenge to the prevailing moral and ethical frameworks, which often advocated for self-denial and sacrifice. However, La Métrie's views were met with vehement opposition, and he found himself exiled from his homeland. He sought refuge in Berlin, where he continued to develop his ideas and write prolifically. Despite his controversial status, La Métrie's work laid the foundation for future philosophical and scientific inquiry into the nature of the human mind and the interconnectedness of body and soul. Julien Offray de La Métrie, a philosopher ahead of his time, challenged conventional beliefs about the nature of humanity in the 18th century. In his groundbreaking work, The Natural History of the Soul, he argued that humans were not separate from animals but rather complex beings within the animal kingdom. This controversial idea sparked a great deal of debate, as he boldly proclaimed that, from animals to man there is no abrupt transition. Expanding on this notion, La Métrie proposed that humans and animals were essentially composed of the same organized matter, with the only difference lying in the complexity of this organization. He compared this distinction to the contrast between a high-quality pendulum clock and a watch, stating that humans were to the ape and the most intelligent animals, as the planetary pendulum of Huygens is to a watch of Julien Leroy. La Métrie's belief in the similarities between humans and animals was rooted in his observation that sensory feelings were present not only in humans but also in animals and even plants. While he acknowledged that humans alone possessed the ability to speak a language, he contended that animals, such as apes, were capable of learning a language if properly trained. He even suggested that with training, they would become perfect. By emphasizing the similarities between humans and animals, La Métrie challenged the prevailing notion that man was vastly superior to other creatures. He believed that humans and animals shared a strong continuity in psychology and behavior, highlighting that we, like animals, learn through imitation. La Métrie's revolutionary ideas about the relationship between humans and animals continue to provoke thought and reflection in modern times. His philosophy encourages us to reconsider our place in the natural world and the interconnectedness of all living beings. By recognizing our shared characteristics with animals, we may develop a deeper respect and empathy for the creatures with whom we coexist on this planet. Julien Offray de la Métrie, a philosopher known for his controversial ideas, believed that man operated like a machine, with mental thoughts depending on bodily actions. He argued that the organization of matter at a complex level resulted in human thought. Rejecting the existence of God, La Métrie instead proposed that the organization of humans was optimized for the best utilization of complex matter. La Métrie's conviction in this theory stemmed from his personal experiences. He discovered a correlation between his bodily and mental illnesses, leading him to believe that the two were interconnected. Compiling evidence from the fields of medicine and psychology, he published his findings in a book. However, not all of La Métrie's evidence was readily accepted by his contemporaries. Some dismissed his arguments due to their unconventional nature. For instance, he pointed to extraordinary events such as a beheaded chicken running around or the continued functioning of a recently removed animal heart as proof of the intricate connection between the brain and the body. While La Métrie's ideas sparked further discussions and influenced subsequent theories, his works were not strictly scientific. Rather, they were characterized by their controversial and defiant nature, challenging conventional beliefs about the nature of human beings. Julien Offray de La Métrie, a philosopher known for his radical ideas, found himself challenging the traditional beliefs of his time. A determinist at heart, he firmly believed that human actions were predetermined and that the concept of judges was unnecessary. To him, the idea of free will was merely an illusion, and he saw no need for external authorities to pass judgment on individuals. 
Going against the prevailing Christian beliefs of his era, La Metri embraced a hedonistic approach to human behavior. He rejected the notion that one should abstain from sensual pleasure and instead advocated for the pursuit of pleasure and happiness. In his eyes, the pursuit of pleasure was a fundamental aspect of human nature, and he saw no reason to deny oneself the joys that life had to offer. Delving deeper into human behavior, La Metri questioned the commonly held belief that humans possessed a higher sense of morality compared to animals. He observed that animals rarely engaged in acts of torture towards each other, leading him to argue that some animals exhibited a certain degree of moral behavior. This challenged the traditional view that morality was exclusive to humans, suggesting that a broader understanding of morality within the animal kingdom was necessary. Intriguingly, La Metri proposed that humans, as machines themselves, should follow the law of nature and prioritize the interests of others over their own. He believed that by aligning with the natural order, humans could transcend self-interest and contribute to a more harmonious society. This concept challenged the prevailing individualistic mindset of his time, emphasizing the importance of communal well-being and cooperation. La Metri's radical ideas on determinism, hedonism, and the potential morality of animals continue to provoke thought and debate to this day. While his ideas may appear controversial at first, they offer us an opportunity to question our assumptions about human nature and morality. By considering alternative perspectives, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us, ultimately helping us navigate the complexities of daily life. Julien Offray de la Métrie, a prominent philosopher of the 18th century, made significant contributions to the field of psychology, particularly through his materialistic views. While his extreme beliefs were met with strong rejection, his work did have a profound influence on the development of various psychological theories and approaches. One of the areas where La Metri's influence can be seen is in behaviorism, a psychological perspective that focuses on observable behavior rather than internal mental processes. Behaviorists adopted a reductionist approach, breaking down complex behaviors into smaller, measurable units. This reductionist approach aligns with La Metri's materialistic stance, which emphasized the importance of understanding the physical and material aspects of human behavior. Moreover, La Metri's ideas found resonance in the field of cybernetics, which explores the relationship between systems, information, and control. Cybernetics applied to psychology shares a parallel with La Metri's position, as both emphasized the mechanistic nature of human behavior and the role of external forces in shaping it. However, it is in the realm of cognitive science and artificial intelligence that La Metri's influence is most evident today. Cognitive science, which seeks to understand the mind and mental processes, draws inspiration from La Metri's materialistic philosophy. The philosophy of artificial intelligence, a branch of cognitive science, proposes creating robots in the image and likeness of humans and other living beings. This approach reflects La Metri's belief in analyzing the human being based on a robot analogy, further illustrating the lasting impact of his ideas. While La Metri faced significant backlash during his time, his contributions to psychology continue to shape our understanding of human behavior and cognition. From behaviorism to cybernetics and cognitive science, his materialistic views have left an indelible mark on the field, helping us navigate the complexities of the human mind and paving the way for future advancements in psychology and artificial intelligence. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.